Two other things to mix into this chapter, real quick, real simple. Here's a nice image of the contemporary hotel found in Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Interesting building. It was built in the 1970s, and they call it contemporary. And the building structure itself is trapezoidal. It's a trapezoid. Now, trapezoids are fairly interesting quadrilaterals. Trapezoids are quadrilaterals that have two parallel sides and then two distinctly non-parallel sides. So you have two that actually are parallel, but then two non-parallel. And that would be this side right here and this side right here. Now in a trapezoid, they're fairly simple to deal with. You still have, conveniently enough, the same 180 rule, except the 180 rule, the supplementary angles, are only on those two. So this angle right here combined with this will be supplementary, and this angle right here combined with this will be supplementary. Hey, because they're same side interior angles. We actually could have figured that out without me telling us that, right? Now, the one rule I want to focus on with trapezoids beyond what they are is... Now, focus is, focusing on the trapezoid at the top of this building, I drew this red line in the middle here. This red line is called the median. It's the median of the trapezoid. Now, I understand that that's going to be a little confusing since we also learned a median was this line right here in a triangle, but c'est la vie. Just going to have to deal with that. The median of the trapezoid, it is quite simply the line that goes across the middle of the trapezoid that is parallel to the parallel sides. Now, the median has a specific length in any trapezoid. It's always the average of the top and bottom sides. So, let's make a little formula, shall we? Let's say the median is the top length plus the bottom length divided by 2. If you look carefully, I'm saying average the two sides. Take the top side, take the bottom side, so there's a total of two of them, and add them up and divide by two, hence average. That is the median. So if this length was 10 and this length was 20, you would take 10 plus 20 to get 30. You would divide 30 by 2 to get 15, and indeed 15 is the average of 10 and 20. Simple enough. And then if you're given that instead of the lengths being 10 and 20 given as numbers. In other words, you have both top and bottom lengths, but instead you're given that this is 5 and then the median is 10. Well then, you've got 5 plus the bottom divided by 2 equals the median 10. And now you have to solve. So you would then multiply both sides of the equation by 2, which cancels that 2, leaving just the top of the fraction, 5 plus the bottom. You still have to multiply the other side of the equation by 2, though. So you have 2 times 10 is 20. So 5 plus something is 20. 20 minus 5 is 15, which then makes this length 15. You can also tell by looking. 15 is just the same far away from 10 as 5 is. So that middle line's length will be the same distance in value away from the top line as it is from the bottom line. So let's recap, shall we? You have a trapezoid. It is made up of two parallel sides, the quadrilateral, two parallel sides, and two that are distinctly not. The consecutive angles, top and bottom, are supplementary. And the median of the trapezoid is the line that goes across the middle of the trapezoid. How do you know it's the median? Well, it goes from midpoint of this side to midpoint of this side. That's what makes it the median. And the median is the top plus the bottom divided by 2. In other words, the average of the two sides. I'm trying to draw 2 there, but it's not coming up. So now the last few problems that dealt with trapezoids and their medians. On the sheet that we've been working on the last couple of classes, you're, you'll be able to now solve those problems. Because you now know this length is found, this length right here, is found by averaging these two sides.